Hey everyone, this is Grant. He's going to show you how to contact tape your color guard pole. Now this process does take a little bit to master, so take your time while doing this so you can have the prettiest pole possible. What you're going to need is your color guard pole, whichever one you do use, as well as the contact paper sticker. So I have a six foot pole and I cut my strips into smaller pieces that way it's easier to put on the pole itself so if you have a six foot pole i cut these into 12 inches each if you have a five and a half foot pole you're going to want to do 11 inches so just make sure you do this beforehand instead of doing one really long strip okay so what i'm going to do is take my 12 inch strips and i'm going to take the tape off nice and carefully so there's just a little bit showing and I'm going to go to the very top of my pole and I'm going to put just the middle of that tape right on the pole. I'm very slowly going to adhere the tape onto the pole right in the middle. And while I do that, I'm going to use my finger to press down the pole so it's nice and even. So as I do this, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and right to the center as much as possible so that by the end I have this right down the middle it's all nice and smooth once you have that you're going to take the palm or the very end of the palm of your hand this part right in the middle and then you're going to very carefully go up and down the pole to smooth it out and take your time while doing this and just rotate the pole very smoothly, very carefully, so that it's all even around. And just concentrate on one side and just go very slowly turning and moving your palm up and down the pole until it's at the ends. Now there might be a little bit of a bubble. And go ahead and smooth that out with your finger, pushing it towards the end of the tape so that the air bubble gets completely out. And then now you can start on the other side. So you're gonna go ahead and take your palm, go up and down the pole, all the way around, taking your time, going up and down. And this is kind of therapeutic too, so you can uh, take your time, making sure that this is all even. And then it will overlap a little bit, and that's awesome. So you know that you've reached the end of that one layer. So there we go, all the way around it is black and it looks beautiful. So now that we did one, we're gonna do the next one. And when you do the next one, you kinda wanna start the exact same place that you started last time. So you have the seam along the same side. And you're, I made these like slightly, slightly, slightly bigger, very slightly, just so I can have a little bit of overlap there. So I know that, you know, that could be a cheater tape, um, but you're going to want to measure it later anyways. So go ahead and place that and do the exact same thing, making sure that the middle of this tape is lined up all the way from the pole. And even if it's not totally centered, that's okay, um, as long as it's even around. And take our palm again, and then go up and down all the way around. Now a tip is be careful, don't pull the vinyl, because the vinyl sticker will start to stretch, and that will give it more of like a crinkly look. And when we're doing this process, we really wanna make sure there's no um, creases or there's no bubbles or there's no, no you know things that look like veins on your pole so make sure that you use your palm to make it go really smoothly on the pole there we go and we have one more of these to do so the same process um, match it up do a slight overlap just to make sure that there is no silver showing and we're gonna do the last one. It might help if you stand up your pole against something like a wall to kind of keep it stationary. I'm using my legs and my hands because I have a lot of experience putting contact paper on poles. 
Um, so do whatever is going to help you. I don't recommend using the ground because anything that on that is on the ground is going to get stuck to the sticker and you might have a bunch of dog fur or you know, carpet fuzz or anything like that. So um, try to keep it away from anything that would, you know, get stuck on the sticker itself. And there we go. A very, very nicely done vinyl taped pole. And then the other half is silver. So you can save one side to be one color and the other side to be another. And if there are any bubbles left over, you know, you could just push them out or press them down. They might come out over time itself. Um, but that's it. That's how you contact paper or pull. Thanks so much for watching. If you found any of this information helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. I love to do videos that help out other fellow color guard performers or instructors and leave a comment below on what other type of videos you'd like me to do. Thanks for watching.